Shooter ready. Stand by. Six point sixteen. There, yeah. Yep. Control. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Gone is the Ruger Stubby 1022. Go check that video out. I'll put a link in the details. And born is this little race rifle. I like to call it. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is my latest little uh, build, custom build, so to speak. If you were uh, seen the video or videos of the Ruger 1022 Stubby. Well, this rifle is that rifle, but basically just in a different stock. Um, I love that stock, but I don't know, I just wanted to go for minimalistic, keep everything sort of lightweight. Not really bothered so much about looks, just wanted function and, like I said, you know, a bit of speed and uh, mega lightweight. And this is what I come up with. This is an Advantage Technologies stock, the Dragonoff style. And it is mega short, 32 inches the whole gun is all together. Perfectly legal in the UK. The barrel is over 300 millimeters, so it's still perfectly legal. But it is very short, and it is, this thing is so pointable, it is unbelievable. It's so lightweight. I haven't actually chucked it on the scale, to be honest, but uh, I will weigh it. I'll throw in the weight on the, well, in the details of the video. But uh, let me tell you a bit more about this then, what I've done. Uh, well, obviously, put it in this stock. Uh, this stock is, really is, well, it really is good. Um, it is solid. It is a real tough thing. I've actually tried putting some weight on this thing, see if it'll bend, and it won't. Um, it, obviously it's all polymer, synthetic, but there must be uh, steel running through there because you can't, there's like no flex in it whatsoever, so it's a lot tougher than what it looks. The pistol grip is minimalistic, there's no checkering or anything on it. Um, let's just open the bolt, it is safe, but, uh, but it's just, just really comfortable. Um, and it's just there. Pointability it is just in your shoulder in there. Now, obviously it's fully ambidextrous because there's no cheap piece or anything. Look how thin that thing is. It's literally just a few millimetres wider than the actual the rifle itself, the Ruger 1022. But yeah, the, uh, the stock, you can bang a sling on there if you want because there's sling swivel studs. One at the back, one at the front of the forend. So that's pretty much the, the stock. I mean, it's it's really cool. I, I love it, I do. Uh, I did think about putting like a, a front grip on there of some sort. Don't know, maybe a Magpul or something. But 
Now I've just decided to keep it how it is without sort of throwing loads of bits on it. So instead what I did was I've got some good old grip tape, cut that out, banged it on either side just to give me a bit of traction when holding the, the rifle. So that's the stock. Now you'll notice up front I've got like some bit of uh, meshing sort of in there just to just a finishing touch really that's only purely cosmetic because with this stock it's pretty much you can just see straight through where the uh, the stock is what would you call it ported I suppose uh, but I decided to just put a bit of mesh in there and that was quite an easy job what I did is I went down the DIY store and got myself a big sheet of it that they sell and comes in like the plastic sheet like that and yeah basically a big sheet of this uh, mesh stuff uh, I did have one attempt that didn't really go too well after cutting my fingers to ribbons um, but obviously I didn't really didn't really use much to do this job we've got loads left for for other projects so basically cut cut that out let's just chuck that out of the way and uh, with this stock you can sort of just peel the the top off just by pulling, give it a pull and it, the top of the uh, stock or forend just sort of pulls off like that, it just clips in so that's a pretty cool feature so it makes it dead easy to strip down while we're on that subject obviously you just take down uh, your Ruger in the normal way taking uh, the takedown nut out or screw out and it, the whole thing will just lift out of this stock obviously put your safety sort of halfway so the trigger group or trigger guard goes through the stock yeah and so that basically reveals the barrel like I was saying getting back to what I'm on about the uh, the meshing that I've got in there and I basically just obviously took the gun out the uh, out the stock and shoved some of this meshing down which I cut out to size after bending it around a, a felt tip pen or a marker pen just to give it a bit of shape and basically just got like U shapes of it and stuffed it into the into the uh, fore end uh, didn't glue it or anything it's just literally held in there by basically just ramming it in there and it does look quite effective it gives it gives it a nice finishing touch because um, it's kind of like stainless steel or I know it's not stainless steel but it's it's normal steel I expect but it does look kind of cool up against the uh, the stainless steel brake that brake by the way is a Bond gun accessories brake it is actually an air rifle brake but because it's solid stainless steel no problem on a Ruger 1022 or any 22 rim fire for that matter um, I know you don't, you don't need a brake on a on a rim fire but it does uh, look quite cool on this gun so the top of the fore end just uh, clips on basically like I said and that's it that's on couldn't get any of that meshing around the top because it's too close to the barrel I didn't want to scratch up the barrel but it does look pretty cool as it is like that as you can see I've got an extended mag release on this rifle that is a power custom one I believe uh, all metal as well which is nice and that does make things a lot easier when it comes to reloading without doubt doesn't get in the way of anything let's get the mag in the right way just makes things so much easier again if you put a 25 round mag in you just grab that thing and yank it out I've just started uh, well I'm going to be starting running uh, the BX 25 times 2 mags that are a double 25 round mag that's that's molded together done a video on that separate video on that go check that out but that's what I'll be running in this gun when I'm doing V drill or mini rifle so that's the mag release got a few custom internal parts in here uh, nothing major though I mean it's standard uh, stock trigger not done anything with the trigger uh, 
The only thing I have done is uh, filed down the little love art to make this an auto bolt release. So usually on a Ruger 1022, as you guys know, you've got to press that and pull the bolt back and then release that and let the bolt go. If you uh, strip it down, there's loads of videos on there. I won't go into too much detail, but you only need a file to do this job and about 20 minutes of your time. And it just makes the bolt do that without pressing any button so obviously you lock it open as you would uh, but just to release that bolt back you just gotta knock it and you get your auto bolt release you can actually buy the parts to do it but uh, the standard stock one that's in is easily customizable to make uh, to make that work like that also in this rifle I've fitted a power custom big bolt handle as you can see there, that is uh, a good option to put on a Ruger 1022, especially if you're going to be using it in sort of all weathers. It's better than the stock one. You've got loads of meat there to grab hold of. Even when wearing gloves, it's uh, it's sound. Uh, also, got a Volkswagen. I can never say that word. Volkswagen uh, sharp claw extractor on there. And that is pretty much it as far as uh, guts are concerned in this rifle. God, look at the state of that thing. That thing needs a clean. But like I say, that's pretty much um, internal wise uh, what I've done to it. Nothing major, nothing mega expensive. Uh, fairly cheap red dot scope on there as well. It's a Hawk Red Dot 30, 30 mil reticle. Um, real nice uh, red dot. I uh, had no problems with it at all, um, really good, really good little uh, red dot and for a reasonable price as well. Here in the UK I think they're running about £60, something like that, so they're really not too bad and red dots like this are pretty much virtually all the same really, they all sort of do the same job. This one I think has got a three, so I'm getting rid of a spider that's sort of hanging down from the ceiling here. Uh, this one I believe has got a three MOA dot in the it. The red dot is mounted on a Ruger Picatinny rail to give it uh, a bit more chunkiness. And I just wanted to put that on as well just to make it a little bit more uh, tactical. But that's it guys, that's the new race rifle, um, absolutely minimalistic in every sense, super lightweight, like I said I'll put the uh, the weight of this thing uh, in the details of the video when I get around to weighing it, but mega short at 32 inches, you could almost fire, fire this thing like a pistol, it's that short, lots of fun to be had with this. Uh, going to be featuring in a lot more videos. So I'll just give you guys some mega close-ups of this gun. Maybe give you a bit of inspiration if you want to run a gun like this or pimp up your uh, own Ruger 1022. Do something a little bit different with it. Depends what sort of disciplines you prefer to shoot but this thing is ideal for something like Mini rifle, V drill, uh, speed steel shooting, that sort of thing. This has got a standard uh, bar barrel, by the way, guys, but just quite a bit shorter as I had this thing cut down. Still legal, though. Maybe I'll put a little bit of grip tape on the pistol grip just to give it that extra bit of traction. Don't know though, it doesn't really uh, give me any trouble to be honest. Probably the ideal place would be to put some at the back of the, uh, the buttstock there. Maybe I'll do that, that's a little job that probably could be done. So it sort of sticks in the shoulder.
But that's it guys, that's the uh, rack and load overview of this uh, little Ruger 1022 race rifle. That's what I'm calling it now, it's a race rifle because it's built for speed. Thanks for watching guys, see ya. Oh, don't worry about things. 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 Oh, don't worry about things.